We're at Bailey's is really thick, but this is very watery. I was going to start by saying it's nearly Christmas time. Well, when I bought these, it wasn't nearly Christmas time, and I suppose it's nearly Christmas time. It's beginning of November, so it's not really Christmas time, but shops do love getting their things out early, um, make sure they can get as many sales as possible. In fact, I remember when I was younger, my mum brought me a like big trove of Christmas goodies as a Christmas present, and she started buying them when the Christmas stuff came out, and at least half the items already gone out of date. Considering they're Christmas items, Christmas foods, the fact they went out of date before it even got to Christmas is a bit of a fucking joke, to be honest, but there you go. They like to make their money, capitalise when they can. And while I'm in such a good, happy, festive mood, let's just crack on with it, shall we? <laughs> so yes, Irish cream. I see Bailey's is the original and best. Maybe, depends what you like, I don't know. But yeah, they seem to keep making out these, bringing out new flavours every year. And um, obviously Audi, the king of dupes, have brought these ones out this year. I don't know if they brought them out last year or not, but I don't remember them, but I saw them this year for fuck yeah. Mm, fuck yeah. So we have got a milk chocolate clementine flavoured Irish cream. Ballycastle is the brand. Ballycastle, this Audi have made Ballycastle for years, but yeah. And also the milk chocolate peanut butter, which is blatantly copying Reese's colouring on there. So yeah, these are limited edition. Um, I don't know why I call them limited edition because most of these flavour things that come out at Christmas time come and go. So it's just, it's just Christmas edition, and they'll disappear after Christmas. So yeah, there was also a white chocolate one, but I think I've had something very similar before. Whereas these stood out to me. I love Reese's peanut butter and I love chocolate orange so yeah plus it's clementine which is obviously more Christmassy it's a Christmas little orange and that is what our little girls call well, our youngest daughter so yeah we're gonna get into them so obviously yeah it's Irish cream which is it's got a tad drama whiskey in there um, they are both sitting at 12% in volume uh, but in the double cream alcohol and flavoring it says at the back I was always in the impression it with whiskey, there's the alcohol in there, but it doesn't actually say if it's whiskey or not. But yeah. Give them a bit of a shake, activate the goodiness. Um, peanut butter can be quite overpowering. Let's go for the let's go for the clementine first, shall we? I'll only do a little bit. It's the middle of the day, I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be annoyed with that. So this, this does seem very watery. Um, I've recently had bamboo, or whatever well, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, bam, it is bumba, bamboo, bamba, bamboo, whatever, yeah, the, the little Wayne one. Um, which is a, they had a cream rum, which is really thick. Um, if I remember right, Bailey's is really thick, but this is very watery. Very watery indeed. Oh. Get that little hint of... Very slight hit of orange at the bottom there. And obviously the cream. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually disappointed how watery that is. Could have thickened that up a little bit. Double cream, I think they fucking use single cream in this bitch. Anyway, cheers. Mm. It's thick in the mouth, which is... Giggity giggity. Which kind of makes up for it. Mm. It's just Christmas. Whenever you drink this, like, Irish cream liqueur, it just, just reminds me of Christmas. So pretty much any time I get it out. But yeah, very Christmassy. I should be careful, really, because um, now I've opened it, this will probably go out of date for Christmas as well. I probably won't be able to drink it. It'll be curdled by the time it gets to Christmas. Oh, we'll see. We'll soon see. This bottle contains 28 servings. What, if they're all this size? Okie dokie. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. There's a nice, nice bit of orangey flavour going on in there, which makes it slightly different to a traditional standard Irish cream. 
Yeah, I quite like that orange. The thing is, orange for me is a bit of a Christmas thing because we have boxes on Christmas Day. Like, it's just one of them orange. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a Christmassy drink, isn't it? Orange just reminds me of Christmas. So yeah, an alcoholic orange drink. Can't knock it. Yep, I quite like that. Like I said, a bit disappointed in the uh, the wateriness of it, but I just want another little shook up too. And now onto the peanut butter, mate. Peanut butter. Right. This does look a slight bit thicker, but still not as thick as the... Still not as thick as some babies, but yeah. Not really getting much peanut on the nose at all there. Peanut butter, shall I say. Just a slight alcoholic nose, that's about it really. As it tastes though, that's the main thing. We don't go around sniffing babies much, do we? Stick in the mouth as well. Mm. The peanut butter's there. It goes quite quick. Yeah, that peanut butter flavour comes and it just goes and you just, just get standard Irish cream sort of taste after that. Yeah, I suppose it's there a bit. It's not blowing my head off with milk chocolate peanut butter. I don't know I didn't read milk chocolate before, I just thought peanut butter. Yeah. I think the orange one's giving me like a better all round taste. I do, I do like it, but it's not peanut buttery enough in my opinion. I'm getting it a bit, but not as, no, as much as I'd like. So yeah, if I was gonna, if I had to pick, I would pick the Clementine, definitely. Mm. And it's definitely more festive. So yeah, if you wanna try something out, it's a little bit different from your standard Irish cream. So there's quite a lot out there, there's white chocolate, there's caramels, there's mint, there's strawberry, there's loads of flavours. They keep adding to them every year what they bring out, but Audi's milk chocolate clementine, I think, is better than a peanut butter in my opinion. If you're going to have to choose one, I'd say this. Hmm. I shall leave it there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to have a lovely pre-Christmas, all seven months of pre-Christmas that we have, when all the things come out to buy. And um, go pick yourself up something Christmassy to drink. Preferably this one, I'd say. But that is just my opinion. Right, layers. Hopefully see you again in the Jigs Reviews.